Now that we've covered all of that, we're ready to begin actually scanning our work surface and looking for a target. So one of the initial steps after you begin scanning is looking for what you're actually supposed to be scanning or what you're supposed to be intervening on. So after we grab our probe appropriately and we begin scanning here, we can look to the screen and let's say for our purposes we are going to be trying to find a blood vessel that we want to gain access into. Here we can see our blood vessel, this thing that has an, you know, a dark center and then some echogenicity around it. Um, and it's important to position your target appropriately as well when you're doing these procedures. So for example, right now, let's say this is our target here, we can see that it's to the right of the screen. What we want to do, especially in this plane, when we're dealing with a target like this, the, the vessel is running perpendicular to our probe, and we're just seeing a cross-section here, which is why it looks like a circle. What we want to do is put that circle in the middle of our screen. The reason for this is because the middle of the screen there corresponds to the middle of this probe. So once we get to the point of actually putting in a needle with our ultrasound guidance trying to get access to that vessel, we can just go into the middle of the, of the probe here as our entry point and then we'll know that we should be pretty close to being right on target with the, the um, vessel right there. Because again, it's in the middle of the screen and that will correspond to the middle of the probe. Also, if we place our target in the middle, instead of putting it on the, let's say this, the side like this, um, we can see areas around it. So if we are off target, we won't be completely lost. Let's say I came in too much from the right, I won't be able to see my needle because that will correspond to this area of the screen over here that can't be visualized. So we always want to make sure that we center our target in the middle. Now let's say that we're dealing with this same vessel but now in the other view. So we've flipped our probe around and we're looking at the vessel in a different view. So instead of seeing that cross section, we are now parallel to the vessel. So we see that it is running through the screen like this. At this point, we know that this is the same structure because again, dark on the inside, a little bit more echogenic on the outside. Um, we can't center it in the screen just like that other cross section, but what we can do is center it such that our probe is going through the exact middle of the vessel. So what I'm doing is I'm scanning back and forth like this, and what I can see is that as I scan more away from me. This is the edge of the vessel right there. So I don't want to use this as a target because it, when I'm entering here, right in the center of the probe, that will correspond to the, the section that we can see on the screen. If I try to target the edge of the vessel here, if I'm a little bit to the right, I'll be missing and I'll go past the vessel. So for those purposes, we want to center our target right in the middle of the vessel. So while we'll shoot to go right in the middle of the probe here, if we're a little off on either side, we can still hit the vessel and not go past it. So finding your target and centering it is very, very important. And similarly, you want to make sure that not only have you centered your target on the screen, you've centered it with respect to its margins here as well too, you want to make sure that you're always keeping your probe 
align properly and that you're not obliquing things unnecessarily because if you oblique your probe like this and you go in straight after you go in a certain point you'll get outside the view of the probe so it's very important to line up your target well and also make sure that you line up your probe properly and cut down on the amount of variables you have once you start actually doing the ultrasound guided portion of your procedure.